Right now in Hamilton, people have gathered for a rally calling for the removal of four trustees from the public school board. The four were at the center of a racism probe that led the board to ask one of the four to resign last week. Matt Ingram is at the rally and joins us with the very latest. Matt. Taz, a few dozen people have gathered out in front of the Hamilton Wentworth District School Board's head office building to voice their displeasure with the board's decision last week to ask one of those four trust trustees to resign, sanctioning another, and taking no action against the last two. Carol Pakin Miller was asked to step down after that third party investigation found she made overtly anti Muslim and racist remarks to other trustees. Trustee and former chair Alex Johnstone was also sanctioned for failing to stop racist comments at a meeting last June about the police liaison program. And trustees Kathy Archer and Becky Buck, who were also part of the probe, were not sanctioned. The board cannot force a trustee to step down under provincial law, but that's exactly what these people want, alleging the four are racist and their continued presence on the board will negatively impact racialized students. People should, like really do understand that what's at the heart of this is the fact that there are black and indigenous and racialized students that suffer the direct consequences of the votes that are made in the hands of racist trustees. Like racial gaslighting, a bunch of different discriminatory acts happened here at this board and they're allowing it to continue through watching them vote on their own sanctions and continue to believe that the idea of only sanctioning two people and asking one to resign is enough. We asked the board for its reaction to today's demonstration and they wrote, we recognize there are different ideas about what consequences should be applied, but we have a decision of the board. We are working to move forward with recommendations to support equity, anti-racism and anti-oppression, safe schools and governance changes. Now the investigation began after former student trustee Ahona Mehdi made her allegations of racism public last summer. The final report from that third party investigation was delivered last month. Back to you.